Hi there and thanks for joining us. I'm Connie Tran. Hearing the words, you have cancer, is life altering for most people. For Mindy Clisso, her diagnosis of a rare and aggressive type of thyroid cancer was the start of a lifelong journey. She shares that journey with us and how the team at Community Cancer Institute played a huge role in where she is today. It's been a challenging past few years for high school floral teacher Mindy Clisso. In 2018, she was experiencing chest pain. An x-ray showed she had a mass in her sternum and thyroid. Mindy was referred to hematologist oncologist Michael Moffitt at Community Cancer Institute and diagnosed with metastatic medullary thyroid cancer. It had spread to my sternum and my spine and my liver, my lung and my hip. The tumor on Mindy's spine was about the size of an orange. Mindy was introduced to radiation oncologist Dr. Nat Long Pham to address the pain. I recommend just a, a conventional uh, radiation therapy to help with the pain. So that's the, the most common uh, treatment that we had. Dr. Pham says she went through 10 treatments of conventional radiation in February of 2019, but six months later... Her pain actually get worse and, uh, right around uh, August. Uh, if I remember correctly, and then we get a repeat MRI of the spine, and actually the lesion that we treat around the T4 show that it's a progressing or it's growing. That pain was pretty unbearable. I stopped having feeling in my lower body, and so I knew that, that wasn't normal. Um, and then Dr. Pham referred me to Dr. Levine for surgery. Neurosurgeon Dr. Nicholas Levine explains how the tumor was affecting Mindy's neurological function. Her tumor had grown into the epidural space, which is the area surrounding the spinal cord. It had diminished the caliber or the, the size of the spinal canal, so the spinal cord was compressed. Dr. Levine performed surgery to remove the tumor from Mindy's spine and surrounding areas with the plan that she would be treated with CyberKnife stereotactic radio surgery after. We used to try and remove every possible element of the metastasis because we didn't have other options with respect to radiation. Now we have turned to more of a diminished resection. Um, we provide just enough resection to safely proceed with radiation. Stereotactic radiosurgery uses 3D imaging to target high doses of radiation to the affected area with minimal impact on surrounding healthy tissues. After the surgery, Dr. Levin discussed with me that, uh, you know, even though he tried to get as much out, there is uh, microscopic disease that is being left behind. So in order trying to control those, we need additional radiation. Mindy continued her treatment with chemotherapy, and Dr. Pham says recent scans have shown there is no more cancer. The Community Cancer Institute was built to facilitate collaboration between specialists with different areas of expertise to treat complex cases like Mindy's. She credits the collaboration and team effort by her doctor for her survival. She did very well because of her positivity. She already has beaten the odds and done better than I think she expected. So I hope for her that she will continue to do well. Your life is precious and I think until you're in a situation like this, you don't really see that. And I don't think that they probably get thanked enough. And I want them to know that I'm here and I'm alive and I'm doing well and I'm back to normal because of them. If you would like to help us continue the life-saving work being done at the Community Cancer Institute, visit communitymedical.org give.